Hey, this is DJ Jazzy Jeff, and I'm excited. See my face? You want to know why I'm excited? Because I have a sound pack in Serato Studio, and I'm about to make a beat using my sounds in Serato Studio from my sound pack. Come and join me. So listen, my process always starts with the drums first, so let's get some drums cracking. These are drums from my kit too, so. So the beauty of it is I can fix this right over here. See that velocity. So I usually just chop my sample up and I'll just record it and then I nudge it as, um, you know, the beginning and the end to try to get the feel because I don't really want it to sit directly on top. Sometimes I kind of want it to be a little bit behind. So I'm just getting it in and just trying to get the feel right. And then what I'll do is I'm gonna filter this sample out, filter it up. So it's more like, Then I'm gonna put a bass on this. We are gonna look for one of them Jeff basses. Cause I got basses. Ooh, uh. All right, we gonna, let's, let's see what this is hitting for. So I pulled in this Jeff's Moog bass, which is actually my actual Moog over there that I made the bass sound off of. And we're gonna try this playing key to see if this will fit in the key of the sample. So, what I like to do is make one pattern with a whole bunch of stuff and then I start copying, and then I take stuff in and out to kind of build my arrangement. So what I would do is something like this, is I'm gonna copy this, because I wanna change the drums up on a couple of these. So I'm gonna put an extra kick in here. And then I can kind of name this kick feel. Same thing, copy it, do it again. Give me a different one. It's real important for me to put kick fills. I came from an era that I sampled a lot of stuff off of records that was a live drummer and they never really played the exact same thing over and over again. So they were subtle fills. Sometimes you change a hi-hat up. Sometimes you add a little snare fill. Sometimes you would move a kick drum or put ghost notes, which are notes that are almost low to the point that you can't hear them, but that you can feel them, just to kind of give a little bit of movement to the song. Because you don't, even though you're using a computer, you don't want it to sound stiff. You know, you don't want it to be mechanical. So sometimes cut the quantize off and just throw a kick in there or a snare in there and turn it down really low and move it from left to right to see how it feels. Um, let me look for another sound, preferably from my pack. Yeah, or I can grab this arp. Let's see. The 
ARP strings have been one of my favorite strings ever since Everybody Loves the Sunshine and Summer Madness by Cool and the Gang. Like, that, that's it right there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy the intro over here because I want to do one, but I want to take the bass out. So as you see the bass notes, you hit clear, bass is gone, label list, no bass, so that you know. So now you can come out of this. Chats that Jeff had. That's me. It's kind of hard because I would never ever put scratches from a program in my song, but I'm confused because that's me. So I'm going to copy this scene right here, and I'm going to call it Big Clap because I want to put a really big clap fill. This is kind of like that thing that you just do maybe once or twice in the song that everybody's kind of like, how come he didn't do that again? It's kind of like, yeah, I, I meant to do that. Let me see what else I got. Oh, that's another one. Yeah, I'm going to do that. like is I can go into song view and say, let me just try to build this a little bit. How about you start with no bass, right? And then put that no bass with the kick feel and then do that. So when I'm structuring the song, the, the thing that I really love about Serato Studio is it's pattern based. So I can make a bunch of different patterns and I can label them like this one is no bass, this one has bass, this one is a dropout at the end. And I can literally arrange the song while I'm listening to it just by dragging the patterns in. In my brain, I'm almost structuring the song, you know, to give to somebody that you can almost hear the way that this song is supposed to be structured. But if they do something different, it's so easy for me to grab you know, a, 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 a bar or four bars to pull in or even take out, depending on, you know, how they do it. I can arrange it on the fly. Might have to call for this one. You had him calling my phone. Hey, bro, I saw that video you did. This song's calling my name. Yep, that's what I want to do. So... I just moved this up to the beginning of the bar and I time stretched it so that it fit perfectly over the bar. So if you see the end of the sample, it moves in and out on the bottom. So I'm just fitting this so that it will be perfectly on the bar. Perfect every time. If I want to bounce this, I can bounce all of the stems out, take it into another doll to mix it, or I could just bounce it, and I'm playing this tonight. Sadate. Hey, this is DJ Jazzy Jeff. Thank you for joining us on this excursion of my sound pack. Because like I said earlier, I have a sound pack in Serato Studio, because I make sounds and I put them into a pack and make a sound pack. 
So if you have Survival Studio, please download my sound pack because it's pretty good. My sound pack. Bunch of sounds in a pack. In there. I made it. Thank you, Serato.